Charleston White gets caught lacking at the barbershop over there in Texas. So there's a barber that's named Kevin Spencer. Charleston White said he's in a barbershop. He's very comfortable over there. He's sleeping or whatever. That's whether y'all want to believe it or not. He's sleeping at the barbershop and he said he got jumped on at the barbershop. He got pistol whipped and allegedly because he called Kevin Spencer a snitch. I don't know how true that is, but that's just the word through the grapevine. Now, a lot of people are looking at it as like, what the hell happened? Because he still got the gold chain on his neck inside the ambulance. He's being taken. People don't know if it's a ploy or not because they're trying to say Charleston White fell off. I don't think he fell off, but... I guess because Charleston White lost his channel, he ain't on the scene as far as on YouTube. People think otherwise, but I see he's still getting shows, interviews. Now, let's slow it down. He got his gold chain on in the ambulance. Now, I don't think this is Cap what happened to him. What I will say is it had to be somebody who know Charleston White who allegedly beat him. And according to Charleston, I think he meant it was multiple people. And the only reason I say it had to be people who know him because the chain is still on his neck. Then he's saying how he's very comfortable in there because he's on the phone in the ambulance giving a whole conversation. And it's a lot of people covering this right now because he never took an L. He's been undefeated. And a lot of people is going to deem this as his first L. They're going to be like that boy, Charlie Boy, done finally, you know, took a loss out here. My opinion it ain't really a L because if you Charleston White, this the motion you put out there, the vibration or whatever, whether he's wrong or right, he know what's coming with it. And my thing is, I thought it would be far worse than what I seen. For somebody to get pistol whipped and beat or whatever, I don't really see no marks. Now, I seen a band-aid on the side of his right temple. You feel me? Usually, if you getting hit right there, you're supposed to be woozy and gone. But he look... I eyed in the face, but the face did look big a little bit, I think. But I don't, you won't really know because maybe it just happened in Charleston White immediately got the recording. Like, I don't know if you ever been hit with the pistol. I've been hit with the pistol, but I, don't, I ain't going to really call it um, pistol whip. When I got hit, it wasn't for me, and I was in the way. That's when I was in the military, went to a party, whatever. Dude tried to apologize. He still got X, Y, and Z happened to him. I ain't going to get into that, but... That shit, bro, is like a rock being thrown at you. So I, I'm just speaking firsthand, bro. Like for this man to get allegedly pistol whipped, I don't see the damages you think you would see. And for people who seen what Charleston White been saying over the years, over the time periods on social media or whatnot, you would think it would be far grave than what we looking at right now. I feel like he still caught an L. As far as anybody catches an L when hands get put on you, you feel me? When you get in them type of, it's not making fun of him or nothing. It's just, I took L's. I've been robbed before when I was younger, you feel me? So we all take L's, and I feel like this one was an L, but not an L that people thought. Therefore, it might be flipped to a win, you feel me? It might be a W, but here's the catch. Here's the catch of this, though. The thing is, with Charleston White, he's telling y'all what happened to him or what not. Maybe because he's seen the people recording it when he allegedly got pistol with. This is if you don't think. Remember, everything I'm talking about is for us who believe this happened to him. Because some people are going to be like, Charleston, set this up. It is, it's a play he doing or whatever. I don't know, gang. I believe it's real. But you never know in this world. Charleston done told us he's a character when he plays this. I don't know. I'm just the only reason I don't know, Charleston, if you watching, bro, like salute to you. I don't see you crying or nothing. And you know what I mean by that? I don't, I don't see blood. I don't, I don't really see damages or nothing. So I can see why them people are saying they think it's fake. Now, me, I don't think it's fake. I feel the energy like Charleston is shook up a little bit. But he ain't scared to it. It's like, like you could tell he's been in fights before. You know, when I've been in fights, I don't really do too much about it as far as crying about it or talking too much. It's, just, it's a regular fight. It ain't like... We, me and homie see each other again and we're going to, you know, like maybe it might be that, but it's like a fight happy. You feel me? It's a battle you lost, but you win to try to get a chance to win that war. You feel me? I feel like with Charleston White, that's the vibration I got from him. Like, damn, I caught an L. So whoever he's talking to and calling, he's telling them he fell asleep at Kevin Spencer's shop. You feel me? And Kevin Spencer took out the pistol and pistol whipped that man. You feel me? He call, allegedly called him a snitch. I don't know how true that is. You know what I mean? Some people 
when they know you got a name like Charleston White, they're going to do what they got to do for a viral moment. It just is what it is. I don't know what they think and if this they come up or if it's just satisfaction. Some people don't even care about the celebrity part. They just want to go viral. That's their little trophy for the rest of their life. They the X, Y, and Z who did this to this other person or whatever with a name status. And with Charleston White, he seemed like he handling it well, but I feel like if this did happen and it really is true, a video about to come out there. It's about to get circulating. You feel me? But then boys probably don't want to circulate that video because boy know Charleston White, old Charlie boy, he definitely going to call the law because he said he's going to do it. And I'm not even mad or against him because he's going from a civilian route. Shout out to Charleston for that. But I'm just letting y'all know, if you don't see a video out there yet, they probably feeling like they don't know if it's going to be assault or what's going on. Because right now, I don't, I don't know how Texas law is. You know, in Florida, it's if the prosecutors and the DA office want to pick up on that or not. You know, because you don't have to report it. They can choose if they want to or not based on a video being out there. You know what I mean? So if there's a video of Charleston White getting hit, I don't know how Texas law is where Charleston White got to be the one to, you know what I'm saying, go down to the law and press these charges or Texas would just see it on video and they're the ones who's going to indict whoever is involved. I don't know how it go. I just know if it is what I'm thinking, then folks that I'm about to put that video out there or sell it to the highest bidder because of charleston white notoriety bro at once upon a time ago people just thought he was untouchable not me and and if you ask charleston white he'll tell you he ain't untouchable you can see certain moves he do he know his status and who he is and what's coming with that you feel me let's just be real about it you know i still respect that man and salute to what he got going it ain't hating it's being truthful you know what comes with these people who are around you and who's watching your movements or whatever, and you just got to stay tight, man. Like, I'm not going to no, to sleep in no barbershop. I've seen a lot of people say he lying about sleeping in a barbershop. I don't know. I, I think I've seen people sleeping in a barbershop before, but they be kids. You feel me? Like, me, I'm not sleeping in no barbershop. Even my hometown barbershop that I done grew up with the barbers all my life, I still don't sleep because it's like, who's coming in that door? And, and then it's politics. We talking about sports talking about women. It's just a lot going on to be falling asleep. And I wish Charleston White will move more sturdy out here because he know who he is and what the motion is, bro. It's like what the lit read. Come on, man. Old school got to do better than that. And I feel like all praise be to the most high because whatever people expected to happen to him, it didn't happen. So Charleston kind of low-key took a W as far as he got a knot, right? But you don't see the knot. It's just a band-aid. And he owning up to it and say, yeah, he got pistol whipped. So that let me know, damn, is he owning up to it because he's solid, which we know he's solid. Or is it part of being solid and he know they recorded the situation or whoever owns the business. There's cameras in the shop, right? So he knows it's going to be on film. And that's a hot commodity right now. Folks in them is probably going to auction that video off. I I can see that already, bro, from TMZ to everybody, because it's like, believe it or not, even the people who's rooted for Charleston White, they're going to be the main ones laughing at it when it gets out there. They're going to be the main ones who was waiting for a moment like that, bro. It be the people. It, it ain't your enemies, bro. You know what comes with your enemies, bro. But it be the people who say they support you. You're going to notice it, bro. It's going to be a classmate shift. They still going to watch your videos, but... They're going to be deriding anybody else who got some entertaining thing against you because that was their moment. The damn, bro, how the hell is this man undefeated, bro? No, no, no. Like, dudes wait on your downfall. It happens to everybody. It's part of life. I don't get down like that, but I know that's the world, man. So we got to live out the world. And I know Charleston White is a bright enough brother, but how you fall asleep in a barbershop, my guy? Like, geez, bro. And I know you come from the trenches like me, bro. Like, it's... I don't know where you was at, though. Like, like you said on the ambulance, bro, you were comfortable. And that's the problem with a lot of us. Me, too. Sometimes I get comfortable, too, man. The life we live out here and we put out that energy, you got to always have a certain positive energy. I know I keep a positive energy. So if a positive dude like me got to be wearing outside, then you know if your name is Charleston White what it is when people see you. And that's another thing. When people come up to you, it's all cool. But I wish you would stop doing that kumbaya with them. Much love to you. But your situation is a little different with everybody else because folks going to try to get a stain on you for some points out here. It just is what it is. Clout is the new money. 
because it lives for eternity in their mind. It's better than any money, any reward. Man, it's even better than that Punani with some of these dudes out here. It's, it just is what it is. I don't know who Kevin Spencer is. Maybe they playing chess with that video right now. But if this is true, man, I think he came out on top as far as Kevin uh, um, Spencer and Charleston White. They both caught a W because it could have been worse for Charleston. Like, to just look like that and nothing else happening to you the way we thought, the damn cuz caught a W then it is like cause thought you you would see this man not even recognizable type is if they caught up with him. Look, man, I'm DJ Blessed One. Love your family, love your kids. Definitely stay blessed, folks.